Hey guys, we're back with one shot here, and uh, the vid the audio quality for the last two videos hasn't been too good. Well, the second one was pretty good. I'm gonna try to keep this one as as good as possible, honestly. All right, so we're back with one shot, and let's see, Moses, are you still there? I'm here. It happened again. Everything just went really dark. So dark, the light bulb doesn't even light it. I'm not sleepy anymore. All right. So now with our newfound gas mask, we can go. Uh, we can go explore those gas field, those uh, geyser fields. Let's, uh, let's let's search this one first. Cause there actually is one up here. Yeah. Good. Okay. Let's see. I should be fine with this mask on. Oh, but oh, okay. Oh, that's that's interesting. It transitions. It transitions really well too. I like that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, this 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 game just has so many nice little touches. Honestly. Yep. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we can find around here. More lore pages? Nah, probably not. I, I hope not. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to read anymore. <laughs> Wait. No, for, this game has no voice acting. I'm gonna, I have no choice but to. What the hell? No? This punch here looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the surface of it. Wait, can I? Want me to fill the bottle with this stuff, Moses? It's too go goopy to fit in a bottle opening. It's like that one time years ago when I tried to put tomato chowder in a baby bottle. And then it got everywhere. On the table, on my clothes, on the baby. On, my, on the baby's clothes. The grown-ups thought it was hilarious. <laughs> they took a bunch of pictures. And then they taught me how to use funnels. And then they also told me I shouldn't try to babysit until I'm older. Anyway, we should probably look for a funeral, a funnel or something. Hmm. Ah, okay. You see, that's that's why you, that's the the joy of experimentation, right there, man. You uh, you do one thing, maybe it leads to a hint. Hmm. hmm okay, fine. You can't just and pop it. Of course not. Nah, I'm just... Okay. Let's see. Wait. <laughs> what happens if I put the fucking sun in here? Okay, never mind. No, you're no fun game. Ooh, robot. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. Oh. It's so sad. Might need to go to the other geyser field. So we're here. This this is a vent on the ground. All the others are taller than me. Oh wait, this vent is in the ground. Can I? Because you want me to fill the bottle with this gas, Moses? That ought to do it. Bottle of smoke. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up interesting observations about the Barons. We found out that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Hmm, this is interesting. Uh, so... You couldn't couldn't see the one that was right next to the fucking village. Like, come on, man. Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting into the glen. <laughs> Waft. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm 18. <laughs> I'm I'm immature. <laughs> if that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. Oh. Yes, you do. You pretty much owe your entire livelihood on, on these guys. Alright, so we have gas in the bottle now. And thus, the fart and shit jokes commence. Oh, maybe not shit jokes, but fart jokes, and definitely. Alright, let's see. Will this take me to the other one? Yeah, it probably will. Oh, no, it's just a regular field now. Okay, no. No gas. 
Ooh, but a building. Spooky, scary building? Oh, more robots. Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. No, okay, thanks. They, no, ask him for help, you fucking child. Evacuation at such short it's asked at such short notice. I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Some sort of mechanical drawing. So I'll, I'll come back here. This is a place I know. Oh, I like the fade out, man. It's just like... Just... Oh, what's this? Infirmary. Okay, I got it. Right. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected. None. Treatment required? None. I'm pretty sure I just inhaled a bunch of painful gas back there. When I didn't have the mask, so, uh, <laughs> in injuries none? Bullshit! Uh, seems you're malfunctioning, robot. Yeah, maybe you should, we should take you to the infirmary, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, I'll stop now. Er, thanks. Oh, they even have a little dust. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission to the infirmary? Uh, infirmary? No. Oh, carry on then. Oh, well, shit. It's about some medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Can I... Can't combine those. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Why would a robot need a sy <sighs> Shut up. Shut up, Moses. Don't, 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 don't question it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What's this? 11B. Mechanical drawing. Picture of a robot. Ooh. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Moses. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? <laughs> ah, I don't know what you have to do. What? Try talking like a robot. Um, ahem. Beep boop. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> that is not correct. What? Okay then. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Moses, you made me look silly. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, I feel bad. God damn it. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. <laughs> well, okay, fine. Oh my god, I just love how this game looks, man. It plays so smoothly. All the camera pans and everything. Ah, oh, this, this game is just beautiful. Some of the ink on the page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electronic, electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the service continues to fail so much that maintenance... Oh, it, if the service continues to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does seem to be happening to the robots. 
does not seem to be happening to the robots. At least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Ooh. I'm pretty sure these are computers. Now... Now what? All of these terminals do not boot. I am sure... I am not sure what to do now. Oh shit. <laughs> it's like, you pass butter! <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, welcome to the re <laughs> welcome to the family or some shit. Yeah, welcome to my world or some something like that. That fucking show, man. I'm good, thanks. No, you, we need help, dude. We're in a, an entirely new town area, man. Like this is this is this is pretty overwhelming for me, honestly. It's a it's a power cell, I think. It's writing on this one too. It says Guardian of the Residential Area. Ah, okay, so this is the residential, okay. Looks like they're eva evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Apparently phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. Engineer? Ooh, is this, this is a skip guy? That we've been hearing about? Alright. Apparently the phase one of the evacuation and ah, I'm waiting uh, when when Elma Fudd right there okay <sighs> prematurely the big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips they said it was due to something with scares <laughs> spooky scares man all right something with spooky scares I'm not sure what they mean by that <laughs> me neither man it's, it's a meme all right bummer. Bummer. Looks like it won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. We work so hard on those. I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting and people as it is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Oh, so sad. Lots of tiny shrimp swimming in this jar. It looks a little dim. Anyone up here? No. How about over here? No one, okay. Whoa, that's uh Oh. Hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See, I, I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? Ah, oh, ProfitBot, that's his name, okay. I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. Oh, that's so sad. At least, not with these. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Ah, oh, shit, man. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, uh, why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. I wonder what they- I'm really wondering what they mean by tamed at this point. I, I, I think I have a faint idea what it means, but at the same at the same time, it's like, these guys still act like robots. Units RM28, I'm not reading all that shit. Reporting for duty. I saw that you, were, you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Um, what? Is he actually gonna follow me? Let's look up here. Anyone here? Okay. Ooh, note. I remember being taught in school about how the water surrounded the forest, stre surrounding the forest stretch until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Is anyone here? No one is here. Okay. Let's head out. 
anything around here? Anything out back? Nothing. Ah, he's still following me. What's in here? Oh wait, I already, I already went here. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. No! Okay. The only thing I don't, I don't find too, too keen about this game is that you can't move diagonally, so you're gonna, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this. So let me see. All right. Seems there's no real puzzle things to, to um, seems there's only lore here so I'm gonna um, gonna head out okay it's just this big hole okay so I'm gonna head out right now gas mask of course okay big pipes well what do we got here it's just just factory stuff Ooh, another page on the ground just glad this isn't Slender Man or something like that, you know, because that shit's scary. You know, there's something weird about the robots who sent to, who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a slower rate than uh, than others. Hmm. The few who work directly with gas harvesting. Oh shit! Oh, I figured out the puzzle. Holy shit! Is that a result of our of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? Hmm. Okay, so I figured it out. All right. So let me just explore a little more, see if I can find anything, and then we'll come we'll come back to the robot. The robot. No, they really needed to, to find better names for, for that shit. All right. So I'm gonna assume that if I go a bit further down. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been located, relocated. Ooh, it's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Yeah, rubber gloves can be pretty oh, heavy. I'll prevent chemical damage. Okay. I'll wear them when I have to. Ah, okay. I see. It seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate. The importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here's a simple recipe used using the alternate method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Shit, man! I hope I hope my voice is picking up good. I'm gonna raise the volume a little bit. Okay, hmm, blue phosphor. Right, Re reagents. Reagents, sorry, I I haven't taken chemistry in a year or so. Reagents, acidic gas, blue phosphor, rare form. Instructions 1. In a well-ventilated ve area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's get back to robot. Okay, my, nothing, nothing over here. Hopefully, this is down into the into the other into the place where, where Profit Bot was. Anything over here? No. Yeah, the path's closing off. There we go. Back in back in the village. Yeah, let me let me talk to this 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 robot again. I think I'm gonna, I think her name is Silver or something like that. You need any further assistance? We're good, thanks. Okay, that's it. Hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below me is the old quarry. The, le the head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. I see. Oh, so she's the the head engineer. Oh, so that's why she was being all protective. The yellow light is gone now. Must have imagined it. 
Okay, that's kind of eerie. There was someone. There was someone over there. Holy shit! Now they're gone. All right. I'm probably gonna cut this. Yeah, he's gonna cut all this walking. And that glitch is still there. Mm, I'm scared of what what that entails. Let's get our bottle of smoke out. That's oh, profit bot. Hello again. Are there any more questions you wish to ask? Yes. Mm hmm. Go on then. Ask away. Uh... Okay, never mind. Bum 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 bum. I really like the feel of this event of this uh, game. Honestly, it's very it's very desolate, but it still feels kind of like like lighthearted. You know what I mean? Mm, let's see. Uh, robot should be right about here. There he is. Ah yeah. Gotta go around. Though that little ledge probably doesn't look that safe anyway. Hang in there. Hang in there, but... Can't I... Mm. I thought I had. Damn it! I thought I, I thought I figured it out. Shit! Oh no! I'm gonna be stuck for a bit. All right. So yeah. Mm. <laughs> God damn it! It's a gas vent. Okay over here. No! Never mind. <laughs> Just trend level transition, of course. Hmm. Nothing over here. How about over here? Did I search over here? Or is this where the the thing was? Yeah, that's where the thing was. <gasps> Ooh, okay. But the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Oh. oh. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. <laughs> oh, okay, filled syringe. So I should inject the liquid through the cork, right? Right, Moses? It's like I'm a doctor. Ooh, I should probably shake this too. They changed color. Bottle of acid. I don't know if I want to give this to robot, but... Hey, it could be one of those non-melt-your-face-off acids. You know. I'm not going to say it's a base, because bases would fucking kill you. I'm pretty sure. Need something I can use to watch the robot with. Ah, I guess not the bottle of acid. God damn it! So what do I use this on? Also, I've ever mentioned that the soundtrack for this game is fucking awesome. It's just mmm, beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Like these pieces, man, they're just they're just awesome. Ah, 
Looks like we're packing. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the excavation. Evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. Hey, sweetie, six more weeks until you can go ho come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule. Wall, dorm, thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back home, right back soon. Love, Mom. Aww. Hmm. Alright. Hmm, let's check some other houses. Might be some stuff here. Just playing with the with the with the table. Oh, with that little little bouncy thing on the table, at least. Let's see what we got up here. Anything? Nope. No one. I just wish the pan was a bit faster, honestly. You can follow me if you want. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Did I go to this one? I think I did. Hmm. We are built for outdoor use only. Entering buildings is not part of our programming. That's strange. That is strange, like goddamn. Some specific ass programming here, man. I don't like it. Okay. Let's see. Is this the same infirmary? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, I'm determined not to use uh, any, like, walkthroughs with this, honestly. Like, I'll cut what I can. If I need to. Alright, nah, nah, nah. station up here, yeah, wait, so, yes. It's, it's such, they're such blunt conversations, honestly. I like it. Alright, let me see the chemical... Let me go back to the chemical processing plant. By the way, some robots start, may start following you around the settlement as well. Do not be alarmed. It is their job to keep people safe. Oh, They're so nice. If a bit, you know, just... Overprotective, but that they can't help it. It's in their programming. What's, what's in here? I can't, I can't... I can't look in here, can I? No, I can't. Uh... Gas vent. Okay. So let me go back to that chemical processing plant. There might be something I can do with this bottle of acid. Boards seem loose, though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Okay. I got you. Good thing I, I kept this crowbar. What a workout. Yeah. Pull it. Apparently. Yeah, pulling, <laughs> pulling boards with a crowbar is not as easy as they make it look. Alright. Not that I've done it, but it, it just it just doesn't look as e just doesn't look easy. Bunch of robots without power. I guess the generator can only do so much. Oh. This robot looks kind of rusty. He 
needs to be a page ripped out of a book, too. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. Note, if elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Moses. Cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Ooh. Okay. So that's all I missed. Okay. That's it. And now finally we can go back to robot. Let's let's hurry up. Oh wait, wait, wait. We can fast travel. Right. Holy shit. We can fast travel. I didn't Oh my god, I forgot about that. That's awesome. Okay. So now let's clean off off boy here. That's such a that's such a good feature, honestly. Yes, you want to pour this acid into the sponge, right, Moses? Good thing I have these gloves. I hope this works. All right, hold still. I have no other choice. <laughs> there. How's that? I, I can move again. Thank you. I'm able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? It's calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen. Port number. My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. No. Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Ah, shit. Not to talk to. I have to go back and talk to the lookout point. All right. Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower. But it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Alright. What is the issue? It said something about its navigational circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Most of them I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from the source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. Very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Hmm? I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I, than I need a keepsake. Here. Oh, thank you. Before I go, is there anything I can do to, in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah, well, sort of. I've played it in <laughs> with some older kids before. Well, when you play a game with me, I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the least I could do. Oh, I get to, do I actually get to play chess, or is it just a cutscene? Eh, whatever. It's fine. I would have loved to play chess, though. Whatever. You're really good at this. Thank you. I was built. It was built into my code. Ah. So, what's it like, being a robot and all? I've talked to other robots, and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. There goes my bishop. Taming is... complicated. Oh? How complicated, exactly? There goes my other bishop. <laughs> you fucking... noob. Oh, Ramon, if you're watching this... Sh shit, man. Or even Jay, man. If you're watching this, fucking god, man. This, this scene right here. I can't really explain what tamed robots are. But I'm one of them. All the other tame robots have been removed to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? There goes my little horse. Knight. Right. 
Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a diff very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. And there's nothing I can do? Check. Well, what? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you're only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But... Checkmate. Alright, guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Oh. Thank you also. Oh. This is so sweet. I like this. Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the Barrens. Oh. This is so sad. I'm gonna check what would happen if... Over here. Safety violation! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he actually says it by. I thought it was her. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's fast travel. Cannot fast travel right now. Well, shit. I guess I can only fast travel from fast travel locations. That makes sense. Docks. Alright, give me the amber. Oh, wait, wait, he's down here. Oh! This is Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait. This boat is over capacity. You need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. Or this gas mask or gloves. That is acceptable. Onward we go. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I love the presentation of this game, man. It's so awesome. So beautiful. I love the pixel art style, too. Here is your stop. The Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. Oh. Guess there's no turning back now. We got a bed? Ooh. Oh, we got a we got a nice little 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 vantage point here. A nice view. Is there a bed somewhere? Cause I want to I want I wanted to sleep before we before we like uh before we like um end off. Cause I don't want to just let him stop right there, and that's a that's kind of abrupt. Is there any bed? Yes, there's a bed here. It's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. Oh, we can't sleep here. It was a time where our people used to live in these ruins. But due to flooding, most of us have been moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land has gotten brittle. The glen used to be in one piece, you know. But now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Oh. He's not gonna sit. Now it's fireflies instead of shrimp. I'm catching fireflies for mommy. Oh, 
So are they like our people or something? They look like bird, like bird people. Alula? Alula, where did you go? Moses, did you hear that? Alula! I think it's coming from southeast of here. Southeast, okay, so this way. Hey, you there. Have you seen a little girl? She's a bit shorter than you, and... Wait. That's... The sun. Are you our savior? I... Yeah? Oh, my stars. Sorry for my rudeness. Huh, it's alright. Are you looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but... What does she look like? Um, a little shorter than you. Long blue hair. Two blue feathers on top of her head. Oh, wait, I can't... Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Where was the last place you saw her? Uh, back inside... Back inside the ruins. She said she was heading towards the forest. So I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. Hmm. A robot. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Did Dr. Silverpoint send you? No, I'm with Moses. Oh, carry on then. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Uh, okay. Dr. Silverpoint. Hmm. We heard about silver before. How come you're in red instead of green? Well, more of purple than red. But your eyes and stuff are red. I'm only here to pick up this week's moss samples. I'll return to my station in the city soon. Oh, I see. I'm in charge of the, the, collecting the moss samples. Cool. Hmm. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Ooh, Moses and I are actually actually fixed one of those earlier. In that place across the ocean. This generator does not need to be fixed right now. Right. You guys already have power and all. Generator. This one's got a working battery. Hmm. Wait, let me see. Well, that's cool. It has eh, the light effect. Uh, <coughs> shines sh shines on him. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what you got to say. Foster trees are now being protected under the new laws. Please do not harvest them. I'm not. Oh right. It's like a it's like a whole new 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 fresh slate. Foster tree growth rate has been reduced as of late. <coughs> Is there any beds or anything? Because I need bed right now, full of glass tube of water. Water samples. Hello, living person. Hello. I've collected a duplicate water sample. Would you like it? Um, my programming says that organic beans need water to survive, so I shall offer it to you. Oh, sure, we'll take it. I hope my, my thing isn't overblowing the mic, because I really don't want to spend 40 minutes on this shit again. Deep boop. Water collection. Project resuming. Okay. So I got some water. Tuba water. this okay can't do anything with these trees can't even interact with them at all let's see house please with a with with a bed with a save bed please can I travel okay I can only travel between... Of course, that makes sense. I can't, I can't fucking teleport across the ocean, man. Hmm. 
me uh, have it back to the dock. All right. So this is their house. Wait, there's a Fisher man. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing's biting. Okay, let's see. Let's go, let's keep going this way. I need a bed, like, right now. Like, come on, game. Give me a bed. I don't want to do this for 50 minutes, and it seems I'm gonna have to. No, I don't remember why, but our father left the village while we were still young. We've lived in the ruins ever since. It's just Alula and I now. Can't lose her too. Oh. So sad. Everything is so sad in this game. I need a happier game. I need a happier game. <coughs> the doorway is full of vines, Moses. How about the water? Hmm. The sun. You're the messiah. Are you the... Are you on your way to the tower? Mm-hmm. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You need to sign your name in the scroll first. All right. Do you have a pen? Mm, um... <coughs> no. I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another... Oh, my fucking god. I had to look for a fucking pen. Have you found something to write with? Ah, oh, shit. Are you kidding me? I need to find something to write with. Hello, person. Please do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh, should we not be there? There is no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. Wait, does that mean there's a bed? story. Oh, shit. My desktop went purple. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Hello again, Moses. It seems I need to help you again. Nika will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Do you see it? Just a second. I'm gonna look around for it. Whoa. Okay then, just a sec. Get out of here. What the hell? Alright, let me put this back in the frame. You know what what to do with it then. Still haven't figured it out. You remember the document, correct? This time it's even more obvious. What's the most easily accessible place in your machine? Oh, of course. Oh, it's gonna keep my, my desktop like that too. Shit. Oh my god, this game! <laughs> I can't, man! This is awesome. I'm, I'm really having fun with this, honestly. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Oh. So here? This pathway is blocked by blocks. One block! I think he's being cute right now, even though he can step right over the fucking thing. Uh. Hmm. I guess I'll go on for a bit more. So, 
Savior, I can't believe it. You're real. Miss? Are you alright? No. We should get you to the village. Maybe they could... It's okay. It's okay. It's too late for me. But the sun. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I... Will it make you better? No, it will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I... Well... Oh. Would it... Would it be too selfish of me to ask? I don't know, man. This feels like... What should I do, Moses? Oh my god. I have to make a choice now, man. I don't know if I can trust this, but... Fuck it, man. If there's multiple endings, we'll roll with it. Here. Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good. Right? The, the vine should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. Whoa. It's the sun. We're leaving it with her for now. We're leaving it? We're leaving it? Okay, I, I said we could give it to her, alright? I never said anything about leaving it. I feel like I made a bad choice right here, man. Mm, I don't feel too good about this, man. I don't feel very good about this. Uh, Alright, how about here? The vines receded. Do you know what happened? I found this, a plant person. She was barely holding on. I gave her the sun for now, but she said it was too late for her. I understand. I need to report this to the city. Ooh, so the vines are gone now. Can I, can I use that to like get a pen? Is there a pen around? Go! Oh, it, it mass too. There's different sound bites too, nice. Alright. Oh! Hey ya! Uh, you hear a trade? Trade? Yeah! Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do we have something like that, Moses? I don't think it's right to trade this away, Moses. Oh, hey, you have one of those coin things. I dug up a couple of those before. Oh? Yeah, this is guy who would trade me the best things for them. Oh? Like, one time, he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. Music box? That's it. I wish that guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. Wait, trade this? Don't you want to find out what it says first, Moses? What's that, a book? I'm not sure if I want to trade books. I can't read. How about this? A glass tube full of water I got from a robot. Do you like glass? Do I? Do you? I love glass so much. So much that I have too much glass and not enough other things. Gotta get rid of some of my old bottles and vials to make room for, for new stuff. That's why I set up trade posts in the first place. So I guess that's a no-go. Whoa, that's a lot of shiny things. Glass shards, glass marbles, empty glass bottles, mostly gl empty glass bottles. Glass bottles filled with different things. Bits of string, colored wool, plain wool. Fabric scraps, a rusty bucket, scrap metal, shells, some rocks. What's all this for, by the way? I just think they're neat. Oh, these characters, man. They, they, they don't have much. Oh my god, this looks like an altar. It's a pair of shoes and some jewelry. Yeah, it reminds me of the one that robot from the Barons was holding. Which robot? 
don't remember any robot holding. Oh. Oh, we can ring the bells. Anchovies? Maybe sardines. I honestly have no clue. The flood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. <laughs> yeah, in fact, it, I'm pretty sure it brings fish. So, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a nice little detail. What the hell? What the hell is that? Mother of God! Would you like to help me herd <laughs> my rams? Oh, like she, she has that little he, she has that little anime effect where they hold their glasses up. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Uh, yes. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by rams. They are all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them in order into the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they'll all return to your to their original per ah, to their original positions. Good luck. Okay, I got you. Oh, okay. I got you. Shit. I hate puzzles like this. They're, they're basically sli these are basic this is basically a slide puzzle but worse. I've had just about enough of puzzles right now. F fucking god. I've been playing Professor Layton and I I just beat the I just beat the third game and I don't want to do any more puzzles. <laughs> Please, no more puzzles, man. I can't take it anymore. If I move him over there, he's stuck. So. Where do I go from here? Got it. <laughs> you provided a great service for all ram kind. In return, take this fine ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. It's kind of useless. Can't combine those. Hmm. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take wool, right? What can this wool get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of... I'm not sure what this is, actually. Some sort of fabric dye? Hmm. How about it, Moses? Uh, I don't know if I need the wool. Probably don't. Let me take the offer. I'll do it. Pleasure doing business. Bottle of dye. A small vial filled with dark blue liquid used for dyeing wool. Can't combine those. Uh... Alright, let's see where those other places that the, the vines were at. 
I wish it give I wish it gave me indications of where the vines were because I can't remember where exactly they were. And I don't want to be wandering everywhere. Okay, I know they were here. Okay, so let's check out here. Ooh. Um, let me just see the desktop again. Okay, so... Got it. Okay. Just one block here. In the circle. Yes! Oh, that, nice. Ooh. Hey, my, my desktop changed back. Nice. Oh, the game actually read that. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, look, look. My desktop changed back. Holy shit. Nice, alright. You saved me. Thank you. I was trapped in here for so long. So, are you... Alula? You know my name? Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. Gosh, Calamus must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? Yeah, just a sec. Wait a minute. How did you know that I was the, um, Messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes. Huh? They reminded me of the sun. Oh. That's why you're our Messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in a tower. Do you like this world too? I... Yeah. Yay! Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. Well, that's okay. You're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. Oh, we have a following partner now. See if I can get that sun. I like how smoothly I solved that puzzle too. I, I, I was kind of winging it. I was kind of winging it with while knowing exactly what I was trying to what I was trying to do. So, you know, mm. that felt good. Felt good. Really good. I might split this part into two parts. You know, just to to make you not watch an entire length of a video, you know, because this is this is fucking this is long. Like holy shit, this is long, man. I feel like ah shit. Okay, where is the is this the oh, God damn it. Is this the research station? Yeah, this is the research station. So can I can I travel now? There we go. Calamus! Alula! You're okay! Thank goodness. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary, but then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. It was that weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares we saw next to the ocean sometimes. The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Oh shit, the, the pixels. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, uh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by a name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Huh. Then, would you like to visit our house, Nico? Yes. Yay! Let's go! Oh. Oh shoot, looks like we can't get past the block. Seriously? <laughs> My fucking god, Nico. 
Whoa, something's updating on Steam. What the? No, wait. What? Was something not updating? Okay, fine. Guess not. Shit. I'll be up ahead. I've literally never thought of that. You kind of get used to all the debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't far from here. Uh, so, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is. Here, we want you to have this. Is it a pen? Please be a pen. Uh, ah, yes! It's a pen! Oh, a feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the great prophet. Oh? Or, well, hopefully it's a pen. Yeah. She said this old lady... She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. What? Or something like that. She gave one of our fa feathers to our to father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Are you sure? Totally sure. I think that's what father would have wanted. Thank you. Oh, crap. I had a friend. Ah! Steam notifications. Thank you. There's a clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, just like... Oh, my book. Gosh, I need to, still need to finish studying it. Oh, my friend gave it to me for his house this day. He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read. Ooh. I have a few more of his books somewhere. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the glen. But once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might be ready to... already too late to save her. I know. But I'm glad you got to see the sun... she got to see the sun again. I already, I really need to finish this. Okay. Oh no! Guess that's what happens if you leave your house for three days. But yeah, of course, man. Food doesn't stay that long. The back room is full of dust and cobwebs. It's bed more like a mattress. Can I sleep in any of these? Can I dip this in ink? Coals. They're cold now. Fireflies. Hmm. Is this TV? That's TV. Probably. Pretty feather, isn't it? I hope the squares don't spread too fast. Wait, is there, some, is there something over here? Ooh, there is. Hey! I saw you going to the courtyard. I thought I'd tag along. Same. Hmm. Looks like it used to be land somewhere. Yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way we don't have a way getting there now. We don't have a way of getting there now, remember? Hmm. Isn't there? There isn't a boat, and none of us can swim. And what's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we get, go there to visit mom. Well, her grave, anyway. Oh. Wait. Do you get there? How did you get there? I thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, our friend helps us. He has sort of a machine that allows him to. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. Sometimes he takes us along. But. Like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. Wonder when he'll come back. Wish we could go see Mom again. Come on, Ella. Let's get back to the courtyard now. Okay. Oh, I love this. I love this, man. This is awesome. This is what I needed, man. Just a, a calm little game to play. Hey, that's mine. Doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. I, 
I just love the the the, the I just love the feel of the, the atmosphere of this game. Honestly, it's just very it's very nice. Very nice, dude. <laughs> you leaving now? It was nice to meet you. Really, thanks for everything. Oh, are you leaving now? Good luck, Nico. We believe in you. Oh. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. All right. Can we get our son back? I. Oh, I sound like a sound like a dick. Damn it. The light's gone out! Moses! Do you know what happened? No. You... Really? But... But... Oh... What am I gonna do? It... Lit up again? Phew... She's gone. Oh... There's something on the ground here. Looks like a kernel of corn? She must have left it behind. Seed apparently left behind my maze. Can't combine those. Can't combine the. Okay, fine. Oh, we can use this feather as a pen! Yes! <laughs> I saw it in a picture book once. Yes! Thank you. Oh, I, I, I'm glad I remember the book. Oh, I'm glad I went to that sheep thing. Alright, so. Oh my god, my eyes are actually getting tired, so hopefully there's a bed in the, a bed in the refuge. So please let there be a bed in the refuge. Oh my god, these puzzles, man. I It makes you think outside the box, man. Like some, some shit, usually it's obvious. It, it is obvious, should be obvious, but it's like, hmm. Gotta think for a second, can't fast travel right now. Okay, whatever. Alright, let's, let's go to that robot. He's right here. Oh, I'm too tired to go on right now. Please let me nap for a bit more. I remember seeing a room to the west. Looked like it might be a good place to... Okay. To the west, you said. Okay. Let me... Just a second. Let me see up here. Is it up here? Oh, okay. It was right here the entire time. I could have stopped. See you guys next time. You fucking game. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. See you guys in the next part. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. <coughs> All right, let me let me start it up. Let's see if there's another dream. Ah, oh, there we go. That's <laughs> it. Kind of looked like he was looking at the at the message. Ooh, there's a town now. Hmm. <laughs> Moses, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yeah. I was in a big field, like the one in my last dream, and I saw my village. Then I woke up. Uh, I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. Those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? Say, have you been... have you seen a wheat field before, Moses? Have I? Eh, whatever. Yeah. Oh, they're really pretty, aren't they? The one around my village goes around for miles. Yeah, I've seen a weed field. The plants are really tall. Sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. Like, it's like an ocean of food. <laughs> oh, this, this guy is so cute, man. Oh, wait. But there's food in regular oceans, too. Like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't been to the ocean either. Me neither. 
Oh. I guess we have that in common, Moses. But you've kind of seen the ocean now. In this world, anyway. As for me, I've seen them on TV before. Never thought I'd get a ride boat. Never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here, either. But I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Moses. It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Well, I could, I could go to sleep without a lamp, it's just... It's good you got over that. I'm not sure if that sounds too assertive. I guess. Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. Alright. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me, so thanks for that. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Moses. Nah, we'll, we'll stay for a second. Okay, colorblind mode off. Nah. Okay. We'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye.